welcome to all of you now we discuss about problem 12 boss jacobi method it is an iterative method the numerical practical by c programming semester 6 mathematics honors now And this is the post Jacobi method. Problem 12 write a C program to find the solution of the following system of linear equations by Gauss Jacobi method correct to full decimal places. This is the first equation, second, third, and fourth equation. So 4 by 4 matrix, coefficient matrix, and D equal to 2.11 plus R plus 1 divided by 4. R is the last digit of your zero number. First, to define the variables, two dimensional variable a 10 10 float variable, b one dimensional variable, x one dimensional variable, and y one dimensional variable up to 10, 0 to 9, and this is the error term. And integer variables are n, i, j, state, and flag. And what is the Gauss Jacobi method? And this is the system of equation, linear equations, four y, four matrix, that is four unknowns and four equations. This is a one, one, a one, two, and this is the b one. And let the all principal diagonal elements are non-zero elements. Initially, we set this unknowns x one, x two, x three, x four equal to x one, zero x2 equal to x2 0, x3 equal to x2 0, x4 equal to x4 0. You can choose this x1 0 equal to 0 or 1 or 2 as you like it and x2 also 0, x2 0 equal to 0, x3 0 equal to 0, x4 0 equal to 0 initially. You can choose this. Now step 1 and write this x1, this x1 from the first equation in this way b1 minus a1 to x2 0 minus a1 3 x3 0 minus a1 4 x4 0 whole divided by a11 and from the second equation uh, write x2 equal to b2 minus a21 x1 minus a23 x3 minus a24 x4 whole divided by a22 and this and this is the x11 and this in this bracket one uh, this is the uh, for step 1 indicates the step 1 values of x1 for the step 1 and this is the initial value or uh, step 0 that is the initial value and this is the x3 from the third equation uh, write x3 and in this way uh, b3 minus a31 x10 a32 minus a32 x20 a34 x40 whole divided by a33 and from the fourth equation uh, you write x41 equal to this. This is equal to whole divided by 4 4. And then from the step 1, uh, you will find x1, 1, x2, 1, x3, 1, and x41. A set of uh, four values of this x1, x2, x3, x4 solution. And use uh, these values of x1, x2, x3, x4 in the second step. So uh, this x2, x3, x4 uh, in the right hand side uh, or the uh, from the coming from the uh, step one and this is the new value x12 this improved value of x1 and this is the old value of x2 x3 x4 from uh, the step one and uh, in this way uh, step three step four you you are uh, going and so on and in general uh, this is the um, new value of xi in, in the r plus one step this equals to one by a i i bracket b i minus summation g equal to i i to 4 uh, because we hear the coefficient matrix of order 4 and i when i not equal to j i not equal to j and a i j x i r that is the value of x j from the previous step the rth step here uh, i runs from 1 2 3 4 uh, because we set for uh, 4 uh, equations and four unknowns and r is the number of steps 0 1 2 and so on 
Now the stopping criteria is that that when this uh, modulus value of x i uh, from the r plus one -th step minus x i uh, in the r -th step uh, is less than the tolerance level, and when i equal to one, uh, two, three, four, and then we stop this iteration. And the condition convergence for n equal to four, the coefficient matrix A is strictly diagonally dominant. That is. A modulus of A12 plus modulus of A13 plus modulus of A14 is less than modulus of A11 from the first row. From the second row is this, from the third row, from the fourth row is this. And compactly we write, we can write this summation g equal to 1 to 4. Summation this uh, modulus of Aij when j not equal to i less than modulus of Aii for i equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. And this condition is sufficient condition uh, for convergence of this uh, gauss jacobi method, but not necessary. Uh, that means uh, if the coefficient matrix A is strictly diagonally dominant, uh, then the gauss jacobi method converges. But if the gauss jacobi method converges, then A may not be strictly diagonally dominant. So this condition, diagonally dominant condition, uh, is the sufficient condition for the convergence uh, of this method. Now. I come to the uh, problem and this is the problem uh, c programming and in the c programming the c programming uh, first uh, you may enter uh, this is the um, print f the enter the number of unknowns that is the order of the matrix in and enter the row wise the coefficient matrix a i j and also the right hand constant matrix uh, this is the b i and you can enter this individually um, one by one but uh, you may delete this portion uh, slash star to uh, star slash uh, because uh, uh, we introduce this uh, here separately uh, from the beginning of the problem we um, set this values of this uh, matrix values of this coefficient matrix uh, in entry of the matrix this a11 a12 a13 a14 and a21 a22 a23 a24 a31 a32 a33 a44 and uh, n is equal to 1 n, n sorry n equal to 4 the coefficient matrix order of the coefficient matrix and r is the last digit of your roll number and this is the um, right hand column matrix is this b1 b2 b3 b4 and this is the uh, this the b matrix this 1.47 plus d 12.43 minus 10.35 11.79 11.79 is this and d is equal to 2.11 plus bracket r plus 1 by 4 this is the d d equal to 2.11 plus r plus 1 by 4 and come to the calculation of the chaos Jacobi iteration uh, for i equal to 1, i less than equal to n, i plus plus. x i equal to 0, initial values of x1, x2, x3 equal. Here we choose here the x this, here we choose this initial value of this. And this x1 equal to x1 0, x2 equal to x2 0, x3 equal to x4 0, x3 0, x4 equal to x4 0. So initially x i equal to 0, that is the this x1 0 is 0, x2 0 equal to 0, x3 0 equal to 0 and this. This is the step 0. Next uh, we write this uh, first check n. Uh, here the n equal to 4 but maybe n equal to 3 or 5. So uh, this is the step x1, x2, x3, x4, the print in this uh, call in this uh, line and this print print lines depending on n. So uh, here n equal to 4. So here we write here up to x x4, up to x4. And do flag equal to 0. This is the flag is uh, a uh, integer variable, this uh, flag equal to 0. And this when flag equal to uh, 1, while the flag equal to equal to 1, check it, uh, then uh, again repeat the do loop here. So initially flag, flag equal to 0 variable integer variable and print up this step x1, x2, x3, x4 and this writes in, in column x1 column, x2 column, x3 column and x4 columns and for i equal to 1 i less than equal to n uh, here n equal to 4 i plus plus 
and uh, y i is the new variable uh, initially y i is the new variable is y1 equal to b1 so say y1 equal to b1 i equal to 1 next j equal to 1 j less than equal to in j plus plus if j not equal to i y i equal to y i minus a i j star x j so this this the this i equal to 1 and j equal to 1 so here i if i not equal to j so i equal to 1 j equal to 1 so this step uh, omits this next j equal to 2 so i equal to 1 j equal to 2 so here i equal to 1 y1 and equal to this is the new value of y i in the left hand side and equal to the old value of y1 y1 that is equal to b1 y1 equal to b1 so new value of y1 equal to old value of y1 that is equal to b1 minus a12 into x1 sorry x2 x2 is the initial value is this x2 equal to 0 so this is equal to 0 initial value 0 so. next j equal to next uh, for j loop uh, j loop this j equal to 3 so and i equal to i equal to i equal to 1 and j equal to 3 j equal to 3 so is the the previous value of y1 uh, this is the new value of y1 equal to minus a13 into x3 next j equal to 4 so y1 equal to new value of y1 equal to old value of y1 in the previous step minus a14 into x4 so uh, com after completing this j loop uh, you will find this value of y1 this y1 again improve this y1 equal to old y1 by a11 so you value actually y1 actually actually value y1 equal to this y1 divided by a11 actually this is the uh, step is this 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 x1 this y1 is actually this is the x1 is equal to this this step we calculate up to this step this next uh, next again come to the uh, i loop come to the i loop i equal to 2 I equal to 2 uh, for the second second row second row so y2 equal to b2 so y2 equal to b2 initially y2 equal to b2 and j equal to 1 to 4 if i j not equal to i here initially i equal to 2 and j equal to 1 so here i equal to 2 i equal to 2 y2 equal to old y2 minus a21 a21 this is the a21 into x x1 x1 this is x1 0 previous step initial step and after completing this j loop uh, you calculate this plus this plus this this sorry this minus this this minus this this minus this and uh, this uh, is this y i equal to actually b2 In, initially choose y equal to b2 and completing this j loop uh, you, you will find this y2 equal to y2 y2 by a22 actually the actually the value of x2 x21 x21 the uh, value of x2 for the step 1 and similarly again i equal to 3 complete the j loop you get this x3 and again i equal to 4 and complete repeat the j loop you get x4 and next we uh, check the tolerance level this uh, this i equal to 1 i less than equal to n i plus plus absolute value of xi minus yi xi minus yi is this uh, xi is the initial previous step actually uh, after uh, completing the first step this xi is the this uh, value uh, x zero this is the value zero so xi and this the uh, calculating value yi is greater than the error term that is the 0 0.00001 maybe if greater than this then flag equal to one now this xi equal to yi next x1 x2 x3 x4 uh, uh take takes the uh, takes the value uh, this the y1 y2 y3 y4 so uh, now uh, after step one now x1 equal to uh, this value of y1 and x2 equal to this value calculated value y2 and x3 equal to y3 and x4 equal to y4 and next increment of the step new step equal to previous step plus one this is the complete the do loop and check this condition while flag equal to one Yes, flag equals to equals to one. That is, if flag flag equals to one, then xi minus yi absolute value of this is greater than error. So again, uh, again enter enters you enter the 
I can enter the do-loop and calculate the step two, step two. And in this way, this complete this uh, step, uh, this tolerance level when uh, less than error, uh, then flag equal to zero, and this completes the this do loop, do while loop. Now print the solution, this uh, for loop, uh, this for loop, this uh, x percentage d, this is the 12.5, uh, because here up to uh, this is the four d places. In this question, uh, this is the actually, Put D, you can write 5D up to this 5D. So here uh, the formatting, uh, this is the 12.5. Uh, so up to five decimal places, correct up to five, five, five decimal places. So uh, save this program, uh, this C program and compile. And now uh, compile and run this program. Enter the value, uh, put here nine. And this step this x1, x2, x3, x4, and the solution is x1 equal to this, x2 equal to this, x3 equal to this, x4 equal to this. And uh, you uh, must check uh, these values of x, x1, x2, x3 in the given equation and whether this satisfy or not. Thank you for watching this video.